Question 26. Which expression is a factor of negative 6x squared minus 19x plus 20? I'm going to show you two ways to factor this. The first way will be by hand, and stay tuned for the end where I will show you a shortcut with the TI Inspire calculator, and that calculator can answer this question for you. So stay tuned. Let's go ahead and get started on this by hand. So I went ahead and copied this on my piece of paper right over here. Okay, so the first thing that you are going to do is you need to decide what are your ABCs, okay? So let's go ahead and write down our ABCs. So A, B, and C. A is the number with the letter squared. So A is negative 6. B is the number with the letter, no exponent, that is negative 19. And C is the number without a variable, which is 20. So again, this is A, B, C. Okay, and don't forget your negatives there. All right, so step one, part one, you have to do A times C. And ignore the signs, okay? So ignore if you have a negative. So A is 6 times C is 20. So we're going to go ahead and put in our calculator 6 times 20. 6 times 20, and that is 120. Okay, now what you're going to do is you need to find the factors of 120, factors of 120, and those factors, you're going to have to add them or subtract them or whatever. We're gonna, I'm going to show you how to do that to get the B. You want that B, which is in this case negative 19, all right? So you're going to go ahead and start from 1 and list out all the factors of 120. So 1 times what number is 120? 1 times 120 is 120. Okay, after 1, you go to 2. 2 times what number is 120? 60. Okay, 3 times what number is 120? 40. Okay, 4 times what number is 120? Now, I can do these in my head, but if you cannot, let me show you a, a way to figure them out. So you would just take 120 divided by 4, and you will get like 30. So 4 times 30 is 120. Okay, after 4 is 5. 5 times what number is 120? So if, again, if you don't know, you do 120 divided by 5. It's 24. Okay, next you're going to go ahead and do 6. 6 times 20 is 120. Okay, 7 does not work. So let me show you. 120 divided by 7. If it's a fraction, you don't write it down. So 7 does not work. 8 will work. 8 times 15 is 120. 9 will not work. So let me show you. 120 divided by 9. That is a fraction. That doesn't work. And then 10 is our last one. 10 times 12 is 120. 11 does not work. And then 12, you don't have to do 12 again because it would be a repeat of the 10 and the 12. Okay? So now I'm going to add or subtract... To get, one, to get negative 19, which is my B. So which one will work? Let me show you. So it would have to be a positive 5 and a negative 24. So basically, it would have to be 5 minus 24. If you put that in the calculator, 5 minus 24 is negative 19. So you're just going to have to be very good at math and make them positive, negative, whatever, to see what gets you negative 19. Okay. Next, number three, what you're going to do is we're going to copy all of this. You're going to copy the A, you're going to copy the C, but the B, you're not going to put negative 19. You're going to put positive 5X minus 24X because 5 minus 24 is negative 19. So it's the same thing. I'm just making it longer. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and write negative 6X squared. I am not going to put negative 19. I'm going to put positive 5x minus 24x. Don't forget your x because this has x. So positive 5x minus 24x. And then my last part is that c, which is plus 20. Okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate the first two together and the second two together. And I have to find the factors of those using a factor tree. So we're going to go ahead and do 6, ignore the sign right now, and 5. Okay? Let's factor out 6. What numbers can I multiply to get 6? 
two times three, and two is prime and three is prime. What that means is that I cannot divide two by any number other than itself and one. Same with three. Only one times three is three. There are no other numbers, okay? So let's go ahead and factor that. That would be two times three times, there's two x's, x times x. Ignore the sign for now, okay? Next is five, five is prime. I cannot divide five by anything other than one and itself. So five x, how I would factor that is five times x, there's just one x. All right, so let's go ahead and, and see what they have in common. What do they have in common? They both have one x and that's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do my parenthesis. You're gonna put what is the same in the front Okay, and then here, what is different here? Two times three is six, and an x, and then a five. All right, so let me show you what you're gonna do. If that first number is negative, you have to put it outside. I'm gonna put it outside, okay? And these will be opposite. So if that first one is negative, this will be positive. If that, po that one is positive, this will be negative because negative times positive is negative. Negative times negative is positive. So that's how you would do that there. So that's that part. Let's go ahead and do this one. Go ahead and write 24 and then 20. Let's find the factors of 24. So what two numbers can I multiply to get 24? I'm gonna do four times six. And then four, I can do two times two, and two is prime. For six, I can do two times three. Okay, so let's make our list. That is two times two times two times three times an x. The 20, I can do uh, two times 10, two is prime. For 10, I can do two times five, two is prime, and five is prime. So let's make our list here. That is two times two times five, and there's no x. Okay, let's go ahead and do our parenthesis. You're gonna put what is the same outside. Let's see what's the same here, two and two and two and two, and that's it. So I have two twos in common. I'll put those outside. What's two times two? Four. Now what's different? Two times three is six, x, and then here five. Again, if the first one is negative, you're gonna put it outside make these opposite. So if this is negative, this will be positive. If this is positive, this will be negative. So what you want is that these numbers are the same, which they are, 6x minus 5. So this is perfect. So what you're going to do now, put what is outside together in a parenthesis, that is negative x minus 4 together. And then this, you can go ahead and just copy it one time, 6x minus 5. Now, I can do a little bit more for this one. These are both negative. If they are both negative, I can take that negative outside. Okay, so negative, negative, you're going to go ahead and take out a negative one, parenthesis, make these opposite. This will now be positive and this will be positive. Okay, why? Because negative one times x is negative x, negative one times four is negative four. I'm just trying to simplify this here. And go ahead and copy 6x minus 5. So this would be your answer here, okay? So let's go back and read the question. So they said, which expression is a factor of this? So a factor would be one of these in the parenthesis. It looks like the one that is a factor is that 6x minus 5. Do you see that right there? So my factor is B, the 6x minus 5, which is this right over here. All right, so that's how you do that by hand. Let me go ahead and show you how to do that with your calculator. Okay, so grab your calculator. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out so you can see what I'm doing on my calculator here. All right, so go ahead and push on. You're gonna wanna enter into the calculator. So let me show you, you're gonna push one, then no. Then you're gonna go one into that calculator. The buttons are menu, three, three. This is menu three, three and then one, push enter. So menu three, three, one, enter. You're gonna go ahead and put your ABCs, okay? So remember A is the number with the letter squared, so that's negative six, go down. B is the number with the X, which is negative 19. 
And then C is the number with no variable. That's going to be 20. Okay, do you see that? Okay, so go ahead and push enter, enter, enter. Three times you're going to push enter, 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 enter. Okay, let's go ahead and write that down. That is negative 4 and 5 sixths. Okay. Let me go back and zoom in for you. All right. So what you're going to do now is you're going to open two parentheses. You're going to put the letter and the letter. This number will go here and this number will go here, but opposite. This is negative 4, so I will go ahead and write positive 4. This one, the numerator is going to go after the x and the denominator will go in front of the x, okay? So this 5 will go after the x, but opposite. This is positive 5, so the opposite is negative 5. And this number that is down, the denominator will go in front of the x, Okay, do you see that? So that is exactly like we had in our answer here, except the calculator will not tell you. So this shortcut will not tell you uh, if there's a negative one in the front. So that's the only weakness for that. Okay, but it will tell you that and you will still get the 6x minus 5. All right, so you can always use that shortcut if they want a factor. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. Let me know which way you liked using. Did you like the shortcut more or did you like by hand? And tell me why. See you next time.